Hello, Taurus. So, this is a new spread I'm doing for the mid-October to November tarot reading. This is going to be more along the lines of the Venus retrograde, like a two-path kind of thing, like one side versus the other side, or something like that. I'm not sure if I'm reading that right or not. I kind of modified our, the um, book that these cards came with in order to do this. So, you know. I'm um, just letting you guys know I am doing readings too. All the information is in the description box below. Um, you know, just hit me up on my email. And I think my turnover rate is like a week because I work a lot and I tend to get lazy after I get off of work. You know, so just bear that in mind. Two seconds. I need to take a check. Someone's someone coming to my house and I don't appreciate that shit. He's outside my door. Oh. Never mind, that's just the neighbor. I'm paranoid today. Okay, so. We're gonna do this reading, right? Me and my little one, because I'm expecting. We're excited. Yay. Like, the third time's a charm, right? <laughs> Hopefully, anyway. Like, we're both kind of still freaked out from the last time, but like, you know. Hopefully this one will be successful. Hopefully I'll get to introduce my little ones to you. But anyway, I wonder you're reading, alright? It's going to be two ways, things that deal with them. A card in the middle with two over here, right? You'll see what I mean once I lay it all out. No whammies. All right, Taurus. So we got you with a little bit of exasperation with that valor. Like, stolen valor. Like, boasting a little bit too much when you got nothing to boast. And then we got on this side, ooh, an offer. And this one's a better offer. Because Aries came before you and I wasn't sure about it. This one actually doesn't look all messed up to me. Like, when it's upside down, it, if there's something about it, it just doesn't look right. Like, that Stephen King quote, you know, uh, everything in your house, when you walk into it, you realize is not real and a replica of what was originally was. You know, like, that, and like, when it's upside down, it's like that kind of vibe to me. Like, it's not real, it's a replica, but this is genuine to me. Oh, and here we have the Aeon, or Judgment, Right? That imagery. Does he have a penis? Yeah, he's got a penis. Okay. I was just making sure. The little thing in the middle. Definitely. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so, like, here is, like, the judgment call over here. Like, the right judgment. And over here we have an offer. So, let's see what these three cards come up with. On this side so far we have the two of swords. And on this side, we have the Chariot, possibly Cancer, or Cancer Energy, is that their card? Then we have the Four of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands, huh, that's kind of groovy that they're both fours. Then we have the ah, Four of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Hmm. So with this new offer, there's like, I want to say like, this is peace. I want to think you finally come to some sort of decision with something. And it gives you security. And look at all these elements, all fortifying this gigantic place or whatever. Protecting it. Like that's moat water. These are the foundations for that building, and like, here is the gate that lets it, it's like fortified, it's like secure, it's solid, no worries. And look at this, four of cups, like luxury, choosing correctly, having the right decision made. And on this side, here's someone galloping in, ready and rearing to go. When it comes to something not being completed correctly, this also is the four of wands, so it deals with like, no home environments, maybe something's not right within that circle. And here is, the Ace of Swords, heralding 
the truth or maybe like heralding some new idea what inspires the two of swords below the ace of cups there's some passion maybe even apology with all of this like exuberancy and valor maybe even people coming against you and that leads to this peace we're on this side with the chariot there's a lot of issues with like family home the wealth how they built it up that's got someone charging in even though it's causing some arguments with the four of pentacles Queen of Discs or Queen of Pentacles Reverse. That could be you, Taurus, or a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Someone who's acting a little more dependent than what they need to. Like, they can take care of themselves. They just don't want to. Like, she's got your back to her. Like, you should be worshipping me instead of expecting me to do something. I do enough in my life. <laughs> right? Maybe she's being kind of, like, insecure, and that's causing her to put a fortress up more. On this side, we have... This incompletion of home, but someone's wanting to work on it, as in the right judgment. Hmm. I feel like these are all going to go together very smoothly. And then with this four of cups where you're just taking baths and luxury, like everything's overflowing and abundant, right? Ah, look at this. Satisfaction, Ten of Cups, like, happy ending and abundance right here. Like, look, this is pouring out and this is overflowing as well. Like, ooh, this side's nice. This side's really nice. This side is like, offer, get that apology out there. Like, go with it, man. <coughs> oh, goodness. Excuse me. I might do that like 20 more times. My child likes me sneezing. I think it thinks it's funny. Uh, <laughs> Then at the end, with the Ace of Swords, someone does not feel like they're living, like they're expressing themselves, I feel like. The gain, like I feel like they don't have much to gain or are trying to gain more than what they can obtain, but it's like, I feel like someone isn't as inspirational or as creative or as deep into themselves as they used to be. Like, they kind of lost the vibe or something, right? Like, everyone usually has something to gain, and maybe this person feels like, like they don't have anything to gain or lose. I mean, like, they obviously want to work everything out, and these all look like they're almost on the same thing. It's just going from different perspectives. Like, there's the fighting, but here's, like, a, a judgment call, and over here someone's making a genuine offer. It's not, like, a replica. It's not a copy of an offer. It's actually real. Down here, there might even be an apology, too. I like this reading so far. Like, I, and I like this spread. I'm getting used to this spread now. You guys are definitely helping me. If you guys um, dig this spread or don't like it, like, let me know. Because, like, I'm very curious how this all came out. Very much so. Like, very, very much so. I probably won't use these cards the next time. I'll probably go back to, like, Deviant Moon for a while. I need to go and, like, look over my Crow deck, because I'm probably going to switch that out next. Okay. First two cards. We have someone maybe offering their feelings up eventually, because, like, they feel like they don't want to let this dry up. Eight of Cups reverse. Like, I feel like... It looks like, in, what is it, indolence? Indolence? What? Indolence. Indolence. I don't know what that means. What, what is it? Phone, help me. What does indolence mean? Okay, Google. What does indolence mean? Here's the definition of indolence. Avoidance oh. of activity or exertion. Laziness. Oh, okay. Thank you, Google. <laughs> Not saying anything else. So it's like... Okay, so basically laziness, avoiding activity. Like, okay, so that's what that word means. And it's reversed. It's just like... Hmm... 
Like, like, thank you, Google. <laughs> Don't wake up from that. I didn't mean it. Okay, so... Someone isn't moving? Well, no, because then it'd be like that, right? Because that's what it essentially means. But it does mean letting go and moving on. So maybe... Someone isn't moving as much as they should to move on? Because they're still offering the Knight of Cups up here. Like, very immature offering, right? Like, just be like, here, here's this. Na 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 Take it and go. You know, like, that, like almost, almost like that kind of immaturity or whatever. And I feel like they, if they're too lazy to fucking be lazy to move on, you know? Like, they're really not doing much to offer anything. When it, and I think that comes with emotions, like, maybe they're just not taking the time? When it's, when it's like, I usually, like, it, it's like everything's becoming desolate and they're just like, right about the time they're going to, like, shut those cups off, right? Like, because there's only a few flowing, and the rest of them are fucking empty. Only a few of them have, like, actual plants, so it's just kind of like, they're about to just run out anytime soon. Then we have fruitility. Someone doesn't even want to come around. Like, the swords are just pointing at that one sword. Like, this one. Like, they're all just coming against that one. Like, because it did something. Or maybe that's the mentality right now. Like, the Seven of Swords usually deals with sneaky nature. And I feel like the sneaky nature got pointed out at least six times. <laughs> Let's go with the next three on that side. First card is... Someone is, like, not really being honest, honest with their feelings. Like, that's, like, Paige of Cups, but it's Princess. Um, still very immature with expressing themselves. Maybe they're not expressing themselves enough. They're holding back for some wrong reason. Like, she's offering this shell up, but it's like... I can't tell if she's launching it at your face or if she means it. Like, calling someone's bluff almost. Oh dear. And maybe someone that's holding back what they want to do. Ah! Ooh. Then we have someone's really not wanting to move on with the Knight of Wands. Oh yeah, that could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be either of those. Someone isn't coming out with their feelings and someone isn't wanting to move forward. And here's the Queen of Swords kind of being, you know, critical in all this. But she's justifiably so. Like, this person isn't showing their emotions and they aren't leaving anywhere because they're being the Queen of Swords, they're being logical and practical and just sitting on her throne like, look it, I'm just gonna sit here and cut people's heads off for real if they keep up their bullshit, right? She's acting like King of Swords right now. She's just lopping people's heads off because she's sick of it, right? And then we have some injustice right here. Like, there's no balance in it. And, like, if someone feels like they're just not on top of things. Like, a Leo who feels like they're being cornered or criticized, right? Just throwing a tantrum. In a way. Because they're not in control. And they want to be. Last one. And domination. Two of wands. Someone's going to come to a decision. And look at that domination. There's Aries right on that, I think. I think that's Aries. I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah, domination. Winning. Like, being the one who gets to choose, Taurus. So those are your options. I'll see you guys later. Take care.
Someday I'll know how to end these right.